Alright, here we go again. This time, another um, program called uh, Monthly Sales, which will be dealing with arrays. Uh, that includes um, number arrays and string arrays. Um, to get started, let's look at the variables. Space in there. Also, notice that we included this string uh, library. We're going to need it later on. Right? Actually, we need it right here. <laughs> Anyways. So here, we decided to declare a constant integer. Uh, we named it month underscore num. And we gave it a value of 12. Because there's 12 months in a year. And we made a constant because we don't want that number to ever change. Yeah, because when is there ever not 12 months in a year? Anyways, um, next we got a double. Uh, this will account for the sales amount uh, per month. Uh, by doing this sort of syntax here, where we uh, just type in zero inside these uh, braces, that initializes all values of that array to zero. That means every single element in that is affected. Um, next, we just threw in a an undeclared uh, uh, integer, okay. Then we got a string array where we uh, put in 12. We could technically have put in month num, but 12 was put in there. And um, there are, what? Yeah, that's every month there, all in a string. Good. And um, here we got total average which we'll need later on because we're going to be dealing with totals and averages that didn't really need to be said <laughs> but I said it anyways <laughs> man I am redundant okay so let's go on the for loop so here's our first for loop so we're going to initialize sub to zero then we're going to um, check if it's ever bigger than uh, the number of months. Then we're going to see. Then we're going to increment it by one as we continue through the for loop. So through the string, this will output um, one of these months because of how it's going to play out. Um, because it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And then um, sales, okay. And then it's going to tell um, the user to input the sales. So we're going to go ahead and type in a number. It'll fill out the uh, sales array, which was right here. And then whatever we type in is also going to append to the total uh, variable. And then here, the sales are and L. So just another string after that for loop. Um, so here, we move the average, we um, redefined average um, down here to register the new appended value in total. If we didn't do this, it would be zero. And of course, you know, whatever number, when we do the math, the number gets huge, divided by 12, we get an average. And lastly, the final for loop. Once again, we're going to go through around go through around uh, twelve times. Um, this is going to enter the month for the month, and then the sales is going to be whatever um, number we try to decide to throw in the integer array of sales. It's going to be that. Then it's going to do a if comparison to the average, which was created up there. 
is it greater? If it's throwing a big number for that month, it's going to be greater. If that month had a smaller number, it'll be average. And on the off chance it coincidentally happens to match the average, which is has to be a big coincidence, it'll do the equal to. Then it'll type an average, and then make a new line like that. You don't have to do end line. Just by doing this escape and you'll get a new line. Um, and then the lastly, it'll do the average. It'll spit out the average on, you know, thing from up there, and then we'll do a double end line, overkill. But we did that. I did that. Let's run it. Okay, so one hundred twenty dollars, two hundred twelve, five thousand. I'm just randomly tapping away. Five hundred forty-four, forty-one. Yep. So the average was a thousand dollars, just around, just above. Okay. So less, less, greater, greater, less, 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 and greater, and it works out. You gotta watch out because. You put it up there. Now let's just start typing away. The average is zero. So you gotta watch out for that. You don't wanna do that. It needs to be in the right scope. And by moving it down here, I think that's the right word, terminology scope or order of operations. I think order of operations is the better term. Yeah, you want to uh, put it in the order operations as the computer reads code from like that, top down, line through, line through line. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. I mean, I can show you this average thing going on. You kind of have to make it very uniform. The easiest way to do it is to make all the numbers the same. And then is equal to the average, so that's working as well. I mean, if you made a variety of numbers, you would have to run into a coincidence where there is a middling number that somehow hits the average. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's it for that program.